Members of the Michigan Republican Party tell CBS News Detroit that they feel the party is at a crossroads. This after Chairwoman Christina Caramo called for a restructuring of the party. This amid concerns about a lack of fundraising. R.L. Myers joins us now from outside their old headquarters in Lansing. This building here behind me is just one of the many issues plaguing the Michigan Republican Party right now, but that's a story for a different day. Today, I'm bringing you inside a party in turmoil and taking a look at the effort to oust their polarizing chairwoman. Over the weekend, a meeting that was meant to be held in person was split. Some members met virtually and others in person with Chairwoman Christina Caramo's virtual meeting not gaining enough attendees to constitute a quorum to conduct business. The meeting shows the growing divide in the state Republican Party as bylaws and standard operating procedures are changed in what Caramo called in an email, quote, restructuring. One party member who was removed from his committee assignments tells CBS News Detroit he's concerned about where the state party is headed. My biggest fear is who has more power, the king or the kingmaker. If they were to do this, who controls Lansing? The elected officials wouldn't owe any accountability to me, the voter, especially for those that are in hard Republican areas where the Republican always win. They would owe all of their allegiance solely to Christina Caramo and Jim Copas and Dan Hartman. Siebold estimates about 26 members of the Michigan Republican Party are currently without committee assignments. Outside of the interpersonal conflicts is the problem of funding. Seabolt tells me he feels Caramo isn't being transparent. How much money do we have in the bank account right now? We thought, well, can you just log into the bank account on the computer in 30 seconds? Let some of us come up and see it? No, can't even do that. So no one can actually speak with any authority on what our current finances are because all we can take are some statements that are printed off of a computer by these guys and they immediately make no sense. The Michigan GOP did not respond to a request for comment on Tuesday. Reporting in Lansing, I'm Al Myers, CBS News, Detroit.